wanna be, wanna be all saints Trying hard to be someone else All we want, all we want is please Giving us, giving no time to breathe This is our identity We can't help, we're gone This is our identity Thank you.
Welcome everybody to tonight's matches. Tonight we will be watching Aquinas Maroon. I know I did say last night that it will be Aquinas White, but the sk streaming schedule did get changed. Now we are going to be watching Maroon. They are in their NACE Week 2 match up against Central Michigan University. I believe this actually third, I was mistaken, third Division I school that Aquinas has taken on so far. They are 1-1. One one. They defeated Michigan State. That ball is all the way down. <laughs> I am not going to lie. As I was talking, I was like half paying attention to this play, but I, I, I'm sorry, I've got to watch this again. Yes, it's just own goal. Then Tanner, I didn't realize I had chat on, and I usually do keep that off. Apparently dealing with a broken controller, and that actually does affect you very much so. It's very, very tough to play this game when your controller's doing what it shouldn't be doing. But... Aquinas did take down Michigan State before falling to Clemson. And Spanks with a top left banger and up 2-0 early are the Saints. As I was saying, this is match three of the Nace Fall Cup for Aquinas coming in with a 1-1 one one record. They fell to Northwood in what was actually a very close match considering that Northwood is currently competing in CRL tonight and then took the W against Davenport immediately after tonight. Another double header for you. That's actually a chance now for Central Michigan if they can clean up this rebound, and they do. Tanner brings Central Michigan back within one. Just oh, not enough of a save from the defense. It hits off of that back post. Central Michigan will easily clean that up they took the double against Davenport to come in with this one and one record Central Michigan comes in with an 0-2 record they did face a very tough Michigan Tech team stocks back flipping oh my gosh Spanks nearly had it and then falling in the second to Kettering now that's going to roll up the wall gold zone's going to look for this playing in a Dominus this game I don't know if I've seen him play in a Dominus yet if I, if I have, it's been a while. Stocks is maybe going to look for a double tap. Actually, he leaves it for Spanks. Top of the net in 3-1. Aquinas, we're only a minute in. Already seeing four goals up on the board. Good pass from Stocks down to Spanks, who puts it up high. Useless doesn't even try to go up for it. Aquinas regains the two-goal lead. Central Michigan has to have a chance off of kickoff, but... Goldzone shuts that down with a powerful demo. Now off the back wall, Spanks doesn't get a touch, but Useless's touch does not go into the net. Stocks with no boost. All he has to do is leave it for Spanks, who hits it into the corner, maybe looking for a pass to Goldzone. Good touch from Useless, though, who can't get back to it. Goldzone going to look for a pass to himself. Actually, it's a pass to Stocks into the net. Open net, easy enough for Stocks to make it 4-1 Aquinas. Good pass from Goldzone. Probably knew it would have been a little tough to take the shot, so instead he chooses to pass it to Stocks, who easily will clean that up. High scoring game we've got here so far. Now another opportunity off of kickoff. Actually, Spanks doesn't go after that. He leaves it for Stocks, who wasn't expecting it. Now all the way down, but Gold Zone will collect this and get it clear out. Gets demoed after. Now Secret Slender will just hit it off the side wall as Stocks goes for that. Gets a powerful clear downfield. Spanks is going to look for a redirect. He does not get it. And instead, Useless will hit it towards the side. And Tanner clearing it all the way out. Good clear down from Stocks. Has a chance, but Tanner with a good redirect saves it. But Spanks with an opportunity will pass it high to Gold Zone. Secret Slender with the clear. Now Stocks turning back around to keep the pressure on. He's going to look for it off the wall. Look for a flip early. Does not make contact. Now Secret Slender will collect it, but Spanks will shut that down immediately. Tanner does not get a touch on it. Spanks looking for a flip, does not get a pass to Goldzone, who takes a shot anyway. Stocks racing in is cut off by Tanner, who's going to get a clear out, but Spanks shutting that down again. Now he's going to go up for it himself, free flips, but cannot reach it. Still, though, Aquinas has a chance. Double tap from Stocks, his top right off the crossbar, and in 5-1 for the Saints. 
Useless does not get the touch on it. That leaves Tanner in an awkward position. He tries to go up for it, but cannot quite reach it. Aquinas really rolling. Not even half time in six goals score, five of which are from the Saints. That ball's up off of kickoff. Will Goldzone beat him to it? He does. Now that'll be back down. Spanks, good challenge racing in. Easily beats Tanner on that. Now good slam. Leaves gold zone with an opportunity, but instead he turns off. Gold zone does get a demo. Now he'll collect it. He's going to go up in the air for it. He's going to look for a double tap. It's a little bit wide. However, Stocks will shoot that over to the other side. Look for a demo on Secret Slender. Doesn't find it, but gold zone fakes out the defender. And that ball could not have been more than 15 miles an hour. We'll see 13. I had it right. That shot just extremely slow. Actually, that, you can't even call that a fake. That's just useless not being able to make the play on it. In gold zone. Puts Aquinas up by five. Six, one, still two minutes remain at this point. It's just a matter of how much Aquinas will put on this Chippewa's roster. Stocks is going to have a chance. He's going to pass it to gold zone, who flipped awkwardly. Not sure if he came off the wall. Stocks will again pass it to Spanks. Top of the net, bar down and out. Will Goldie race up on that? He will, and a shot taken. Spanks choosing to just head for boost. Stocks will shadow. Get a touch to keep it away from Tanner racing in for a shot. Now Spanks will collect this. Get up from Slender. Gold Zone does not get a touch. Spanks with low boost cannot do anything with it. Now Tanner going to race in for a corner pass. He gets it. Spanks with little boost gets it out enough to Stocks, who has plenty of boost. Doesn't have to use much to try to get it clear. Now a shot taken. Spanks hits it straight, straight up. And Stocks... Getting it out of the danger zone. However, Central Michigan still putting pressure on. Now it's up. Useless does get a touch, but Spanks is going to have a shot straight into Tanner. Now that ball is down. Stocks just trying to backflip into it. Spanks will cut this off and into the corner, but Secret Slender up again. Central Michigan doing a good job of getting some pressure on. Now Stocks off the wall, passes it to Secret Slender, who's forced to back pass it. His flip does not do anything, and now a pass down. Gold zone demos. Useless, but Stocks doesn't get a touch. Spanks keeping it in. Secret Slender was up way too early for that. Now Stocks with a top left banger, and Aquinas is Braziling Central Michigan right now. Secret Slender does not get the touch at all, and Stocks immediately takes advantage of that and races in for the shot. That ball up off of kickoff. Gold Zone going to look for a pass off the corner. He pinches it down. That allows Stocks to take a wide pass to Spanks. Stocks looking for something off the wall, trying to doomsie it. He does not succeed, but Gold Zone's good challenge keeps it in for Aquinas. Now useless, sending that off the side wall. Spanks redirecting that enough to send it to Gold Zone, who's going to actually just hit that straight up. Stocks with another soft touch. Using the last of his boost to hit into the corner. Now Spanks up on it. Gold Zone barely gets a touch on it. That'll just go wide. But either way, it doesn't matter. Aquinas will take this match. It's just a matter of what score. They will have an opportunity in the final second. Spanks carrying it up. Gets a flick. That'll bar down and out. Aquinas takes game one. See the shots from Aquinas, nine of them. Or, sorry, 12, I can't do math. I'm also trying to get this overlay figured out at the same time. Aquinas just rolled in that match. Not quite sure what happened with the overlay. We have everything but our actual bars up. Not quite sure what happened. I will ready up, though. I won't keep them waiting any longer. I'll try to figure this out just a bit. Not even quite sure, honestly. Just seemed to disappear. Oh, I see what happened. There we go. I'll get it fixed here in a second. Let me spectate. I don't want to hold them up. You'll still be able to see the game. I just got to fix this real quick. Still trying to get this sorted out here but you guys can go ahead and enjoy the game still attempting to get this figured out gold zone with a shot early on gets aquinas up 
one to zero. I greatly apologize. This is not wanting to work with me everything. Let's see, that may have done it there for a second. Secret Thunder up for that, trying to bang it downfield. Good shot, but Spanx is up for that. He does get the save. I'm not even sh quite sure why this is messed up. Basically, what happened is that the overlay for or the Rocket League source itself got mixed in with the overlay itself, or the group overlay. Stocks with a banger all the way downfield, knocks it in. Aquinas really rolling in this match. It is a best of three, but even at the beginning of game two, it's really starting to look as if Aquinas will take this. So basically what's going on is I'm just trying to get Rocket League itself out of the best of five overlay and into its own little thing. That did it. There we go. We finally get it sorted out. Took only about a minute into game two. The overlay back up, everything's functional again, and now I can fully cast Gold Zone, trying to take a challenge into the net, does not work. That ball's off the corner, Spinks coming in for that, hits it off the corner again, Secret Slender gets a soft clear out, and that allows Stocks to go up for this. I think he got his reset on that, he didn't. Gold Zone doing enough to keep it in by useless, Secret Slender, good challenge, gets a clear out now. That ball straight up, Spinks will race for this, useless, Kind of faked him out a little bit. Gold Zone's shot is on target and in 3-0 Aquinas. Just absolutely rolling in this game. Put just enough on it. Nobody was in the net. Secret Slender took what much too wide of a rotation. He was looking for that corner boost. I saw he had 53. He had plenty of boost. All he needed to do was just head straight to back post and he could have had the save, but instead he went for that corner and instead was out of position to allow Goldzone to get the gold. Goldzone will pre-flip off the wall, useless up for that, gets enough of a touch to send it into the corner. Stocks now gonna look for a pass to Spanx, who hits it back to Stocks, maybe trying to Doomsday again. Does not work out, Secret Slender. Does not get another good touch, and now Aquinas is allowed to keep pressure on. Useless misses that time. Stocks will just let Tanner get a touch. Easy save from Stocks. Spanx hitting it downfield a bit. Secret Slender now towards the corner. He'll get another touch, but Stocks in the perfect spot for that. Gets to the touch to be able to send it out. Tanner slams it down. Now back to him. He'll back pass and try to carry it. And now all the way out. Secret Slender up for that shot taken. It's going to be wide. Gold Zone will save it. Spanks good touch to keep it away from Useless. Now Gold Zone maybe going to look for a pass to Stocks. He hits it up by Tanner. Actually, Tanner does get a touch from our perspective. That looked like it was wide. Spanks. Gets a touch to keep that up, and Secret Slender will now send it out. Central Michigan looking for something in this game. That pass mid is towards Tanner, but Stocks, good save. Has no boost. He'll pick up the mid as Gold Zone will hit that. Secret Slender misses. Now Gold Zone gets another touch all the way towards the net. Challenge taken, and it's off the post. Spanx is not there for that pass. He will be up for this. The challenge, if he got a bump on Tanner, it worked out extremely well. He bumps into Stocks, now Gold Zone with a shot, banger, Tanner getting the save. Now Useless will just wait for this with no boost, Tanner's shot is high, and Secret Slender is not there for an immediate rebound, instead he hits it into the corner, Spanx does not get a touch, Gold Zone finally getting the clear out, Spanx waiting for Gold Zone to pass him, who takes the boost, Stocks' shot is gonna be saved. Now all the way down. Tanner's shot is going to be wide. Gold zone, good clear. Secret Slender now all the way down into his own corner. Stocks, his pinch doesn't work out, but that ball is straight to Spanx. Who gets challenged by Tanner. A great challenge from him, Gold zone. All he has to do is hit it into the corner, and he does. And now out. Useless with another miss. He's been missing quite a bit in this match. Tanner going off the wall with style, but instead that's going to be hit down for Aquinas. Secret Slender does get a clear now into the corner. Spanx just going to wait for that. Get it by him. Bait gets it by Secret Slender, stumbling over my words a bit. Tanner back into his offensive corner. One minute remains. Aquinas isn't up by nearly as much as they were in game one, but it's working out. Central Michigan has had very little opportunity. Spanx is just going to dribble this. Pass it to Gold Zone. Easy goal. That's all you got to do. 
He had the option of taking the shot or the pass, and he goes with the pass. Great decision as Secret Slender was right there. Useless cannot catch up to that in time. The Saints are rolling in this match, are likely going to take this game, and will head into game three with a 2-0 match lead. Stocks now over towards Spanx, who's going to race in for another pass that's going to be high. Goldzone's going to look for it off the backboard. Bar down. Can he get another touch? He does. And I think Secret Slender may have finished it off for him, trying to make the save. Goldzone had a... Oh my gosh, that angle was so tough. He hits it off the crossbar. Actually, that looked like Spanx got the credit for... Or didn't get credit for the goal, but hit it in. But instead, Goldzone does get the goal and now 5-0 Aquinas 30 seconds remain in game two Tanner with a hit down allows his teammate to go after it now Slender tries to get a shot now he'll get a good challenge down gold zone just gonna hit that straight up and stocks with the clear out Tanner with a shot low not nearly powerful enough Spanks will go up for this double commit from Central Michigan shot taken from Tanner wide open net and finally Central Michigan gets their first goal of the game Comes with 13 seconds, but that's exactly what they want. They want some momentum heading into game three after a rough, rough game two. Still, there is no chance of a comeback in this one. Aquinas will take game two. We'll see the final score. Secret Slender not going to nearly reach that. Stocks shot down. Spanks looking for a shot. Good save from Tanner. And in the final second, Central Michigan will go on offense. Shot up. Wide open net. I'm not sure where the Aquinas defense was at all. Let's see, gold zone up field, stocks racing back, and Sphinx was up for that shot, and you can see him rotating back. And in the final second, Central Michigan will get a goal, but it doesn't matter as the game will end in a win for Aquinas. Aquinas, 12 shots again. Central Michigan, I wasn't able to see as I was switching over the overlay. Did not see how many shots they had, but six in game two. A lot, that had to have been a lot better. There's no way they had that many shots in game one. But Aquinas is absolutely rolling in this one. If they can just keep it up, they will take this match with ease. Game three. Aquinas on match point. We'll look to do it right here. Useless is going to send that out. Now gold zone racing and shot is on the right side of the net. Exactly where that needed to be. I think Stocks was trying to get a bump on the play. Maybe trying to get Tanner. Yeah, he did race in to try to reach Tanner. He didn't quite catch up to him, but it didn't matter. Is Tanner not able to catch up to that? And seven seconds in, Aquinas up one to zero. Gold zone is going to get up to this. Secret Slender does not get it. Now that's going to be down for Stocks to take a wide open shot. But oh my gosh, useless with a great save. But Spanx exactly where he needed to be. I know I keep saying that. It's just that Aquinas is playing this absolutely perfectly in the perfect spot. Spanx rotating in to collect a rebound. And he does off of Useless's save. And after a goal within ten or seven seconds, ten seconds later, Aquinas goes up 2-0. Stocks back passes that. That's dangerous. Now it's going to be straight down. Stocks does send it towards the side where Tanner gets a touch bump from Stocks. Great bump. Nobody from Aquinas challenging that early. Spanks with a miss, but Gold Zone right behind him. Spanks does not have any boost in Secret Slender. Now he will send it back, but Gold Zone does the exact same thing. Secret Slender may be looking for a backwards redirect, does not get it as Stocks will clear it out. He'll collect the boost, go up the wall, send it off the corner, get another touch. Down Secret Slender with the save and a clear out. Spanx will catch that, send it to Stocks, send it to Gold Zone, back to Spanx. That passing play doesn't quite work out, and now Useless collects that, and he has a wide open net in front of him. Oh my gosh, Stocks nearly had this save but Useless kept with his shot, gets the rebound. In this game, somewhat similar to the beginning of game one, only a little slower. Central Michigan was down only two to one before Aquinas scored the next five goals to win it in a Brazil seven to one. 
Secret Slender does not get a touch. Tanner will try to get one. Gold Zone will beat him. Useless's touch is not very good. It allows Gold Zone to try to take a challenge. Stocks will, though. Now Spanks up for this. He's going to collect that. Try to air dribble it. Stocks races in. Spanks leaving that for Stocks to take advantage of. 3-1 Aquinas just doing everything perfect in this. In the middle of the net, that's where that one needed to be as defenders on each side of the net. Aquinas just playing this match perfectly. They didn't, they haven't seemed to play down to their opponent. They're coming out with the same ferocity that they would any other team. Useless gets a soft touch up. Goldstone will reverse for this and try to get a pass. He doesn't. Stocks is clear, goes straight to Central Michigan. Tanner's gonna have a shot, but Spanx has an easy save. The shot wasn't powerful enough. It's enough of a pinch to send it out, and now Stocks will get it by Useless. He'll look for another, wins the challenge, and now he'll try to get it by Tanner. Well, up, Useless gets a clear out. Spanx catching it. Double commit from Stocks, and Spanx may pay for Aquinas, but Spanx saving that off of his own backboard. Double commit from Central Michigan, but Tanner sticks with it. Now an open net, Spanx is able to race in in time, and everybody missing. Slender forced to go all the way back for this. Stox is going to wait for this, takes a shot top, and it's out. A double commit from Aquinas again, and they won't be able to score off of that. They don't want to be doing that even in a game where they absolutely will likely win. You don't want to be doing that heading into your next match. Now a stomp down of a shot. Stocks with the rebound into the net. 4-1 Aquinas just over halftime. Just rolling in this one. Like I said, if they just keep playing this way, they will easily take this match. The ball straight up off of kickoff. Spanks collecting it. He's Going to look to fake out Tanner by just dribbling it past a gold zone in the net. Oh, my goodness. Spanks doing all the work there, setting up gold zone perfectly. Makes one miss, dribbles it right by useless, and gold zone has a fairly open net in front of him as Slender cannot catch up to it. Aquinas up 5-1. Again, looking very similar to game one, but now a chance. Gold zone will get around on that. Spanks will turn around. The shot is wide, maybe looking for a pass. Stocks taking that up. He's going to look for another touch. Gold zone maybe have got maybe got a touch on that. Now all the way down, everybody on Central Michigan going up and missing. And now Sphinx has a passing opportunity, but it's cut off by Tanner, who's now demoed, useless, clearing it into his own corner for Stocks to hit it off the side wall. Spanks looking for a pass back to Stocks, who can't get off the wall in time. Gold zone, great challenge. Playing very aggressive here. Aquinas will send it all the way back now. Spanks looking for the pass off the back wall. It's saved and cleared by Useless. Now Tanner up for this over tour towards the side wall, but it's a back pass. Now Spanks will drop it down to Stocks. Trying to get a pass to Gold Zone does not work. Tanner does not get another touch. Gold Zone soft shot will easily be saved by useless. One minute remains, all but a formality at this point. Aquinas, at this rate, is easily going to take this match against Central Michigan. Now that ball into the corner, Gold Zone getting it past Tanner. Spanks gets it by Secret Slender. Now Tanner forced to retreat and gets enough, enough of a touch to leave it for useless to send it out. Stocks racing in will take a challenge. It's towards the side wall. Pinched up and down, powerful. But now Gold Zone racing in for a shot. Secret Slender flips out of the way. 6-1, Quinas threatening another Brazil against Central Michigan. Thirty-three seconds remain. We'll see what happens. But Aquinas is going to take this match. They will head into the next match with a two and one record. I don't know if I mentioned they will be facing University of Michigan Flint. Good demo from Stocks on the on the back wall. Bump on teammates, but Gold Zone will easily collect this. Secret Slender does have a good challenge, but useless. Can I get to that in time? Tanner 
I don't know if he meant to take that pass. He had a wide open shot in front of him. Spanks dribbles it over one, gets it to gold zone, redirect into the net. Seven or nine seconds remain and seven to one. Another Brazil for Aquinas. I don't know if I've ever seen them do two in one match. We'll see if that remains within the final nine seconds, but Aquinas just absolutely dominated Central Michigan this game or this match. Actually, Eustace is going to have an open end. He'll take advantage of it, but if Aquinas can score another, they will get a Barcelona, but that's only that's with five seconds, and you're already up this much. There's no reason to do that unless you want to play rule zero. Five seconds remain, heading on to a kickoff. Ball's up. Actually, a chance now. That ball is actually wide, but it will stay up. It's cleared out by Secret Slender straight onto the ground. Aquinas dominates Central Michigan in this one, taking the match in a 3-0 sweep. And as I said, they will be back. It's scheduled for a 9-15 start. However, it could be earlier if UM Flint is here early. UM Flint will come into that match at least with an 0-2 record. Not sh quite sure how their first match went. I'm not sure if we'll get an update on that. And speaking of updates, I do want to mention, you guys may have noticed yesterday that Benzing was not in the match and that Gold Zone had subbed in for him. Benzing has currently taken a step back from the team to deal with some personal things that are going on. We wish him all the best. The program is fully behind him, and we cannot wait for him to get back onto the field. But I will send you guys to some music. The match will start up here soon at most, about 45 minutes. Could be sooner if UM Flint is ready. I will catch you guys here soon. There's a distance between us. It's 
It's getting hard to reach out Haven't seen you in three times But all I hear is your voice I know my limits You can break me down but I'll stay till the finish line And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again And I've been counting days to get away
Bean. It was Bean and the Nat not able to catch up to that, and all he can do is watch as Aquinas takes a 1-0 lead. Bolton does not get a touch off the wall. Spinks, however, will. But now Oreo with the touch straight down. Spinks will clear that out. Bean's touch goes straight up to Chappie, who gets a back pass that allows Spanks to take a shot on net, but it's wide. He had an open net in front of him, and he could not take advantage of it. Oreo does not get a touch. It allows Spanks to go up for it and get a redirect pass towards mid. Oreo back towards the side. Gold zone racing in on Bean. Spanks trying to slow it down, but he's challenged by Oreo. UM Flint already, I can tell, is playing a lot faster than Central Michigan was. Might be a little bit of an adjustment for Aquinas. Chappies passes straight down. Gold zone gets the goal. I meant I did not mean to call that a pass. His save goes straight out to gold zone. He easily takes advantage of that. Bean trying to cut off his shot. Maybe was better off trying to rotate into net to get the save. That ball off a of kickoff is straight to Chappie. He's just going to smack it into his own offensive corner. Gold zone racing around on this. This. Beats Bean to it. Now down into the corner. Chappie and... <laughs> I'm not even sure who that was. Either way, teammates did collide. And Aquinas will still have an offensive chance. His gold zone will try to dish a pass into the corner. It is not working out. Bean all the way out. Spanks off the wall. Gold zone gets a demo on Oreo in the backfield. Stocks is up for this. He will get it over Chappie. And now Spanks will race in for something. However, Oreo beats him to it. Now that's down to Chappie. Goldzone and Spanx collide. He may be trying to go for a pinch. That may have been a little too cute. Is now Oreo gets an open net, but he misses. Stocks now around. Double commit again for UM Flint. And Stocks' is clear goes all the way out and straight up, actually. Now off the ceiling. Goldzone and Spanx were both up. Oh my gosh. Bean with the last second save saves the shot from Goldzone. Now Oreo. Chappie did not expect that. Spanx's shot is not powerful enough. Cannot beat the defense. Aquinas is getting all the pressure in the world, but still only two goals to show for it. Bean finally gets that pressure off. Stocks, though, trying to put it right back on. His pass to Spanx is successful as the pass does come out now towards mid. Bean going for a save. Does not get it. Stocks cutting that off in the right side of the net, and finally all that pressure pays off for Aquinas. Bean, if he even got a touch at all. Not getting a very good one, and Stocks is easily able to sweep that up into the net. And now Gold Zone will be up for this off of kickoff. Beats Chappie to it. Now straight down. Oreo flips out of the way. Good challenge from Gold Zone, but Oreo will be there. Gold Zone is demoed, but Spinks' shot is wide. Actually, he was looking for a pass, but nobody was there. Stocks will slam that down to Spanks, who hits it back up. That goes to Chappie, who keeps it up. Gold Zone's going to have an opportunity off the wall. Does not have enough boost to go after a double tap. And Oreo hits that off the side wall. Chappie misses now an open net, but Bean will come in in time. Stocks gets a demo on Oreo. Gold Zone trying to be fancy. Good bump from Stocks, but Gold Zone did not get a touch. Spanks should not even have gone up for that. He didn't have a chance. Oreo's going to take a shot, actually. He can't even touch it. Chappie off the corner that just goes straight to Stocks. He's not going to dribble it. Gets it by one, but Bean will be there. Gold Zone hits it straight towards the side wall. They bump each other. As now Chappie tries to get something down. Oh my gosh. A miscommunication from Aquinas. We'll see here on the replay. Chappie just hits that down. I think Stocks expected Spanks to just slam that off to the other side, but Spanks expected Stocks to cut it off. And instead, neither get a touch, and that's easily cleaned up by UM Flint. Now a chance off of kickoff, and they immediately get that goal back. Within seconds of the kickoff, Gold Zone hits it straight to Spanks. UM Flint didn't even get a touch off of kickoff. That's the easiest way to get a goal. Another good kickoff from Aquinas. Gold Zone's going to have this. Flicks it by one. A common theme. They're getting it by one defender. Every single time a bump on Bean, but Stocks cannot be there in time. Gold Zone hitting that all the way into his own offensive corner. 
Now that ball up off the side wall. Spanks coming in for that. Gets a touch. He's going to try to go after it himself. He's going to take a shot. It's on target, but Bean with a great save. Sends it off of his own back wall. Stocks his pass to Gold Zone. It's a little bit too far up for him. Gold Zone still trying to make it work. Now Spanks will look for something. Off the back wall, Gorio trying to clear that out, but stocks up for Gold Zone into the net. Great shot from Gold Zone. Took a little longer than I expected, but he did make the smart decision in slamming that down in front or behind Bean and too far out for Chappie to catch up to. 5 1 Aquinas with 39 seconds in game one. Now off the kickoff. Oreo just slams that over towards the side wall. Chappie does get a touch on it. Oreo beating both Aquinas defenders. Now Spanx will collect it. Hit it by Bean. Now Goldzone looking for a redirect. Cannot catch up to it. Bean getting a clear out, but Stocks cutting that off. Great job, but Oreo with a good challenge. He'll go off the side wall to look for something. A challenge in the air. Now Spanx will look for something. Oreo taking a challenge. Bean collecting this with four seconds remaining. It doesn't matter. We'll see if they do come away with a goal. He has a pass down to Chappie, but that's pushed wide into the corner. And that actually, yes, it does touch the ground. Aquinas taking game one. Ten shots from Aquinas putting so much pressure on that UM Flint defense. Coming away with five goals. And Flint only with four shots total. They did come away with one, but it doesn't matter as Aquinas was able to take the match. I will ready up. No need to keep them waiting. And again, the overlay will be messed up. It is 1-0 Aquinas in this match, hopping into game two. Oreo's going to have a chance off of kickoff. Gold Zone is up for that. So is Stocks. And now Gold Zone does land in time and a great challenge from Stocks that goes straight to Oreo. But Gold Zone actually doesn't get a great touch on it. It wasn't powerful enough. But anyway, Spanx has a shot. It's wide. Gold Zone will look for it off the wall. Actually, off the ceiling. Uses his flip but cannot catch up to it. The net is open, but Gold Zone gets a save off the back wall. Spanx has absolutely no boost, but he uses all of his might to get that flick up into the air. Bean saves it off his back wall. Spanx racing up for this. Bean with another save. Gold Zone with an opportunity now, but great challenge from Chappie. Stocks the shot's going to be high. We'll see if Gold Zone can cut on it. He cannot, as it's saved up anyway. Spanx. Again, trying to put an opportunity out for Aquinas, but Bean finally clearing it all the way out. Chappie now coming in for a shot. Too soft. Gold Zone hitting that up. Spanx will go for this off the side wall. Great challenge. Gold Zone looking for a redirect. Actually, Spanx! Oh my gosh! We have to see if he, sl if he came down off the ceiling. We have to watch him here. He does! He comes off the ceiling and just knocks it straight down into the net. Aquinas takes a 1-0 lead in game two. Oh my gosh, what a goal from Spanx. Chappie taking a shot. Bean with a redirect. It's barred down and out. That was a great opportunity for Flint, but they don't take advantage. And now Aquinas going on a counterattack. Great challenge from Spanx. He's going to look for something mid. He cannot. Gold zone over to Stocks. It's a bit too far. Instead, he'll collect that into the corner. And now cleared out by Flint, Spanx racing up on this. Bean misses, Chappie is gonna be forced to backpack, pack, back past this, wow, into his own corner. He does get a touch now. Gold zone over to Stocks, oh my gosh. Stocks had the tightest angle and it missed by just pixels as it bounced off that back wall. Pass to back to Stocks, Stocks is gonna own goal on this. Oh my gosh, that's so unfortunate. The pass from Spanx was a bit too far in stocks. We'll see, I, let's see what he was trying to do here. If he was trying to, I think he was just trying to get up to it, but instead backflips. And instead that goes all the way down and an own goal ties it up in game two.
Oreo now slamming that high spanks up for it. Gets a challenge off of Chappy straight down to Stocks, who misses, allowing Bean to now get it off the side wall. Goldzone softly touching that. He'll try to beat Chappy. He does not. Great challenge from him. Stocks off of his own back wall. Will try to carry it out. Gets it by one. Now Spanx is going to look for something. Another flick characteristic from him. Stocks' shot is off the post. Oh my gosh. Goldzone trying to take a shot on that. Could not. And his challenge is too late on Oreo. Spanx will be up for that. Does not get a second touch. Now wide open net. Chappy's shot is off the post. Oh my gosh, UM Flint has had multiple opportunities in this game, but have not taken advantage of it yet. Aquinas cannot just fall over in this. That shot is wide. Goldzone up again. Touch to Spanx. Now back to Stocks and Bean clearing it all the way out. Dangerous. Goldzone trying to get a demo. And now Chappie does not miss that, and UM Flint will take the lead in this. Aquinas. I think playing a little bit too lackadaisical in this match. They're allowing UM Flint to get way too many opportunities. Yes, UM Flint is doing a much better job than in game one. But there's no reason that Aquinas cannot just roll this team, especially after we saw game one. Gold zone off the back wall. We'll slam it down. Oreo taking a shot. It's going to be high. Maybe looking for a pass. Bean, his shot is wide. UM Flint not taking advantage of these opportunities. Aquinas will have to on this counter attack. Gold zone racing in, but it's off of an awkward touch from the wall. Stocks coming in for a shot saved by Chappie. Spanks up for that a little early. Gets a touch straight to Chappie. And now a demo from Chappie on Stocks. Successful and open net. Aquinas down 3 to 1 to UM Flint. Aquinas has to reset here. There is no reason that they should be down 3-1 to this team. Not to mention UM Flint has missed so many opportunities. Aquinas has to start taking advantage of the ones that they have. They can't get too cute with it. They just have to go back to what they know in another open net. Chappies, oh my gosh, Aquinas is just falling right now and UM Flint is finding all the momentum. A minute 17 remains up 4-1. Marcus has to figure it out right away. They don't even want to drop this game to them. They will have a chance off of kickoff. Oreo with little boost will go up the wall. Spanks back passing it to gold zone. Gets a clear but it's straight to Chappie. Goldzone does not get a touch shot from Bean is stopped by Stocks who will collect a boost pad, go up the wall for this, slam it down to Spanx who tries to pass it to Goldzone but he wasn't quite there for it. Good challenge from Goldzone that's going to be straight down for Spanx to take a shot but Oreo is there for that. Chappie's pass goes straight to Oreo who's demoed immediately now into their own back corner. Aquinas at this rate is going to end up dropping this game if they don't get a goal right away. That does have an opportunity but Oreo gets enough of a touch to clear it wide. Stocks his shot straight to gold zone into the net. 36 seconds remain. Still a chance for Aquinas now. Great pass from Stocks. I know I called it a shot. I can't call that a shot. That's clearly a pass to gold zone who takes advantage of it completely. 36 seconds remain. If Aquinas can find the kickoffs that they were earlier, they can definitely do this. They'll still have a chance. There is that kickoff gold zone up early. Oreo the only one back in net. He does get a touch. Now Spanx off of his own corner. That's, oh my gosh, that's into the net. Spanx with a goal. And now a one goal deficit for Aquinas. 28 seconds remain. Spanx just hits it off of the corner. Bean misses it. Chappie absolutely cannot expect his teammate to miss that. And now 28 seconds remain. Aquinas down by one. They don't want to drop a game to this UM Flint, UM Flint team. That's all the way down. It's going to be high. And I'm not sure that, well, actually that was Stocks raced in too early. Now Gold Zone passing that towards the side. Stocks has no boost. He will collect the 100. It's up into the corner. Spanx racing around on that. Gets a demo, but he doesn't get the ball. And that's what they need right now. And a pinch off of Spanx into the net. Will likely seal it here unless Aquinas can find two kickoff goals. It bounces off of everybody who was collected into that corner. And now UM Flint back up by two. He tries a fake kickoff. It doesn't work, and UM Flint is going to take this game. Disappointing for Aquinas. They should have absolutely swept this team, but they didn't take advantage when they had opportunities.
They will head into game three tied up one to one. Oh my gosh, look at the shots. Aquinas coming out with 11 of them. Flint with 10 of their own. They just took advantage of more, even though earlier in the game they were not at all. They they did find it late game, however, and they will take game two. And unfortunately, I did jinx us. You can pin that on me. We will not have a 2-0 Aquinas. Instead, it's 1-1 one one heading into game three. Aquinas has to reset from that. They did make, make a valiant effort in trying to come back but they still do fall in game two. Everybody missing in this corner, being off the back wall in a challenge from Oreo will go in the net. UM Flint is starting to find all the momentum in this. Beans passes off the back wall. Stocks got bumped actually, and Oreo races in for a shot and a goal. Off of kickoff at Stocks. Slamming that, but Bean with a save. Gold zone now is a chance, but Bean saving that again. Spanks collecting that. That's going to go up and around the rim. Stocks up for it. He does not beat Oreo, but Spanks, good decision to just pop that up. He's going to go for an air dribble. He gets another touch. Maybe look for a double tap, but Bean smartly up for that. Challenge from Stocks goes straight up. Chappie with an opportunity. He'll instead leave it for Bean. Clear down, and now Gold Zone does not get a good touch, and now a pass out to Ch Chappie, but it's too far. Gold Zone clearing that all the way down into the corner, being straight up with that. Spanks now is a shot opportunity. He tries to take a shot, but Oreo is there for it. Now pass down to Spanks, who cannot get the shot off. Stocks one touch. It's going to be down. Gold Zone taking a challenge to keep it in. Spanks will send that off the wall. It hits. Oreo on that now. Oreo does not get a touch. Bean will, however, actually, I thought Spanks missed that. He looked to be past it, but he wasn't now. He'll try to get a shot. Softly gets it by the entire defense. Spanks doing what he can to tie us up in game three. Chappie just in an awkward front post position, and all Spanks had to do was get a flick, and he does, and we are tied up. That's all Aquinas needed was to reset this game, and now they can try and take it. A chance off of kickoff, they will find the net gold zone, putting Aquinas up two to one. Not sure what happened on the kickoff there. But just like I said, gold zone absolutely taking advantage of that. Aquinas turns right back around and has the lead, and now off of kickoff, Goldstone will have an opportunity. He'll slam it off of the corner. Look for another touch. Bean is there. Spanks tries to get it mid, but he's cut off by Bean. Goldie over one. Cannot beat Oreo, though. Stocks is just going to wait for this on the ground. A little too late. Spanks hits it straight up, and now Chappie's going to have an open net. Spanks in an awkward spot. The my bad in the chat, he knows that... Oh, my gosh. If anything... I think he was trying to just kip, kick that up and stick with it for an air dribble clear. But instead, it just leaves a wide open pass, and UM Flint will tie it up. Golds on off of kickoff, wins it. Chappie up for this. It'll be straight down for Spanks and Stocks to go up for it. Maybe it allows Stocks to get a touch into the corner. Now Spanks will do the same, trying to get a pass. A miss from UM Flint. Gold zone takes advantage into the net. Aquinas. Back up a lot of back and forth in game three. Aquinas now with the lead. Bean did miss that in gold zone. Puts it into the net. Aquinas back up three to two now. Off of kickoff, Oreo's gonna have a chance on this. He's gonna hit it high, maybe look for a double tap. Gold zone, and Oreo gets the double tap from gold zone not being able to clear that out. Oreo just hits it straight up in gold zone. Did not get a touch at all. And it allows Oreo to get a double tap. And again, we are tied up. Off of kickoff that's sent over towards Spanks on the wall. He'll go up for this. Maybe look to gold zone or faking something out. Not quite sure. Stocks will push that towards the side wall. But Oreo there. In perfect position for it. Spanks sending that down towards Gold Zone. If he can get a redirect on target, but it's high. Gold Zone 
saw the pass coming, but he was not able to get the redirect into the net. Stocks looking for a pinch off the ground, bumps Chappie out of the way, allowing Gold Zone to take a shot. Oreo redirecting that off of his back net. Chappie is just gonna hit that straight up. Spanks good clear into his offensive corner. Oreo now having an opportunity. Spank or Stocks turning around on that. He gets demoed. Gold Zone now looking for another touch. Wins the challenge against Bean. Now a pass from Oreo to Gold Zone. Not what he intended to do at all, but we take those. Oreo was looking for a powerful clear, did not get it. Instead, it goes straight to Gold Zone, who hits it straight into the net. Aquinas regains the lead 4 3 now with two minutes remaining. Oreo will get the touch on that. Down to Stocks. Gold Zone calculated pass back to Stocks. Now he wins the challenge, but Chappie will race in in time for that. He's going to look for something off the back. Wall, he cannot do it, and Stocks will go up the corner for this. Maybe look for something off the ceiling. Instead, just leaves it for Gold Zone, but he's beaten by Bean. Off the corner, Gold Zone cutting that off, but a great challenge from UM Flint keeps it in, but Chappie in an awkward spot cannot take a shot. Now, Stocks up the side wall. He's going to look for a pass down to Spanks, who went a little bit too far, and it allows Chappie to get a clear. Now, Oreo doesn't have any more boost. That ball will blast out. Chappie won't be able to take a shot and still hit. instead he'll hit it to the side wall. Gold Zone looking for a redirect. It's just wide though. Chappie now will try to dump it into his corner. Take a challenge, but with no boost, he can't get back up to it. Spanx has to leave it for Oreo. Puts it straight to Gold Zone. Bean beats him on the challenge, and now Spanks back passing it to Stocks. Collects the boost and the ball. Oreo now. Spanks collecting this. Faking one out, leaving it for Gold Zone. Team pinch doesn't quite pinch as well as you want, but it's a clear either way. 30 seconds remain in game three. Aquinas only up by one. Bean, though, getting an opportunity. He misses the shot. Oreo now. Spanks and Stocks both up for this. If Spanks can get a challenge, he does. Great challenge from Spanks with no boost. Cannot catch up to it, but he did his job. Now Aquinas on offense. Oh my gosh, Gold Zone nearly had that in Stocks. Cannot get the shot. And UM Flint is going to have an opportunity in the final seconds, but Spanks cuts that off. And Aquinas takes game three much closer than they want. But it's a win either way. And UM Flint will be forced to win it win two games in a row if they want to take this match. 11 shots from Aquinas, only four from UM Flint. That just tells you how Aquinas was just off defensively as every single shot went in. Not every single shot, all but one went in. We'll quickly hop into game four, Aquinas. Really wants to take it in this up two to one. They don't want to go to a game five. You don't ever want to go to a game five if you don't have to do it right here. Do what you did in game one. They have to figure out what they were doing right. And it was also just a matter of Flint came back hard in game two. They have started to figure out Aquinas a little bit. Gold Zone with a kickoff opportunity. Slams it off the post and in three seconds in. That's exactly how you want to start this game off. Hits it off the post, but it finds the back of the net. Either way, three seconds and one goal for Aquinas. Their kickoff game has been so strong in this. As I say that, UM Flint will win this kickoff. Now it's down for Bean, but it's cut off by Gold Zone. Stocks up for this. Spanks tries to flip out of the way to avoid double committing. Oreo's challenge goes straight to Gold Zone, but he's challenged. That ball will roll around the bottom. Chappie looking for a double tap. It's soft. Spinks has to turn quickly. He takes a great challenge all the way down. Bean has an easy save. But the challenge goes into the corner. Spinks looking for a pass mid. Bean there again. And Chappie getting the clear out. Stocks keeping it in. Now up around and out. Spinks does not get a touch. That forces Gold Zone to have to do it. He does. Spinks does not get another touch. 
Stocks setting that up for Gold Zone, who beats him to it. Stocks, if he can get a redirect on target, he cannot at all. And that will allow Bean to get a clear off of the corner. That ball down. Stocks just going to rotate back. Bean looking for a demo on one. Oreo shot is not nearly powerful enough, and Spanx is allowed to make the save. Stocks is redirect all the way down. It's wide, though. Spanx will get a redirect towards mid, towards gold zone, but Oreo beats him on the challenge. Good demo on Oreo. Opens things up for Aquinas. Gold zone looking for an awkward double tap. Cannot find it. Spanx takes a challenge that goes towards mid, allowing Chappie to take a shot on target, but gold zone, great save on that. Stocks will go up for this. Beats Oreo. Now gold zone off the wall. will just drop it down. Bean will save it. Spanx off the side wall looking for somebody. Nobody there though. Spanx stealing that corner and waiting for Stocks' pass. Shot from Stocks. Oh my gosh. I think that was wide, but Oreo gets credit for a save either way. Chappy, can I get a touch opportunity for Spanx? But he pushes the shot wide. Now Gold Zone. That touch goes towards mid. Gold Zone trying to cut this off. Great. Touch to keep it away. Chappie trying to take a powerful shot. He cannot. Stocks off the side wall. Look to get another touch. Bean actually turned around on that. Gold Zone does not get a touch, but Spanx does luckily. And Oreo wins a challenge. And now Spanx, he will take this off of his back wall, use his flip to get another touch. Stocks dropping a pass down to Gold Zone, who dumps it onto the back wall. Oreo's touch. Up and around the rim. Teammates collided in stocks. Takes advantage of that. Aquinas finds insurance in game four. UM Flint in wrong positions on that. And they, <laughs> they, they can't be doing that. Both teammates in the same spot. And Aquinas takes advantage now up 2-0 in game four, looking to take the match. Chappie's shot, or I shouldn't say shot, his touch goes straight up. Spanx can't get up in time. Bean looking for another touch to not get one stocks into the corner. Now Spanx looking for a redirect action, maybe a pinch off of Stocks gold zone into the corner. Oreo does not get a clear actually. Stocks cutting that off. 3-0 Aquinas. Starting to figure it out in game four. Oreo has to get that touch there. He does not stock. Sees it instantly. Takes the shot into the net. 3-0. Aquinas with a minute 43 remaining. Looking to take the match. Gold zone flips out of the way and bumps his own teammate. Bean with an opportunity. Double tap. Does not get it. Stocks with a great backflip. Tries to get a demo. Does not work out. He just bumps Oreo, Gold Zone passing it to Spanx, back to Gold Zone, but he couldn't recover in time to look for this off the wall. Oreo now all the way down, Spanx up for this, straight down to Bean. Bean misses again, and now Chappie forced to back pass into his own corner. Stocks looking for a pass mid, it's too far out, and now a clear for UM Flint. Missing now is Aquinas, and Chappie will take advantage of that. 3-1. Not sure if that was stocks or if it was gold zone on that, but either way, just trying to take a challenge, but did not go where they thought it would. Young Flint taking advantage, now down just two with a minute remaining. Stocks is going to slam this downfield as Cha Chappie's touch successful. It is, it's into the corner. Stocks looking for a pass mid, cut off by Chappie. Stocks will send it into the corner. Gold Zone can't be up on this on time. He hits it down to Oreo, who hits it straight up. Spanks looking for a redirect. Gets one into the corner. Stocks gets a clear out. Maybe looking for another, but Chappie will send this in. 30 seconds remain. Young Flint has to do it soon. That's an opportunity as Oreo takes a shot, but Stocks in the net able to save that. Spanx does not get a redirect, but Gold Zone with a chance. Stocks looking for something. He'll steal the corner boost. Spanx does not get a touch. Awkward, but Stocks able to get enough of a touch. Just over 10 seconds remain. It doesn't happen now for UM Flynn. It will not happen. Gold Zone into the corner. 
that will do it in game four. Aquinas is going to take this match. With zero seconds left, it will hit the ground. Aquinas takes the game and the match. Three to one. They wanted to sweep it, but UM Flint came back hard in game two. They had figured them out. And they do take the match. Aquinas does take the match here, winning games three and four. Again, pressure for Aquinas. Eight shots. UM Flint had six of them, but was only able to find the back of the net once. Great job from Aquinas on responding to the pressure that UM Flint gave. I don't think Aquinas expected that at all, seeing as they came in with a 0-3 record. However, they did put up a very good fight, but it still ends in an Aquinas W. They will head into Nace next week with a 3-1 record. UM Flint will drop to 0-4. That will do it for us here tonight. We will be back Thursday night with the MEC matches for Aquinas Maroon. I will see you guys then.